There you are. What are you doing in there? I've got a video to make. Come on. Good day, Frontlers, and welcome back to the channel. Today, I wanted to talk to you about my Jack Stillman bag. Now, what's this got to do with motorcycles? Well, I'm going to get to that. But this bag, I was recently in Perth, Western Australia, and I got to meet and interview Jared Stillman, the founder of this company. Now, his main inspiration came from the old army style bags, waxed canvas, waterproof, super durable. Now, Jared also realized that this is an awesome product for the motorcycle community. And especially in today's current motorcycle climate, retro motorcycles are some of the fastest selling bikes on the planet. And uh, I have to say that I agree because retro styled motorcycles is my jam. They're the sort of bikes that I really, really love. You can see by the painting on the wall, Harleys are kind of retro, uh, but I'm a mad cafe racer, standard tracker style looking bike sort of a fan. So coming back to the bag, Jared Stillman was kind enough to gift me this bag when I was over in Perth. So I wanted to do a review, but I didn't want to do it straight away when I received it as just a product overview. I have literally used this bag almost every day since I left Perth and it has fast become my absolutely favorite bag in general, not only backpack, but bag in general. So I will put this on my back and I'll go hiking with it, I'll carry my cameras, water bottles, uh, and whatever it might, might be, jumpers, beanies. Um, but I also pop it on my back when I go on a motorbike. If I don't have the Harley with the panniers, often I'm riding press bikes and I need to have a backpack to carry my camera gear so I can film those bikes as well. Firstly, a spoiler alert, it's my favorite bag, so I'm not gonna say anything bad about it because I absolutely love it. But there is a couple of little things that niggle on me and we'll get to that as well. So as you can see, beautiful waxed canvas. It's thick, it's durable, it's waterproof. Beautiful leather, absolutely beautiful leather coming down onto brass buckles, brass clips, and everything about it, not only does it look cool, but it's very, very practical as well. So taking off the main clip here, pulling it back, unrolling it. So this is what makes it the most weatherproof is the fact that you can roll it down and there's no water at all that can get to the zip. So this is the sort of daily carry that I have in here on most days. So I've got my Fujifilm lens, my big daddy, the favorite lens I like to shoot photos with. I've got a camera and a standard lens. Now, this is my old Canon M50. I'm filming on my Fujifilm, which is my favorite camera as well, but that's another whole video. A tablet or an iPad, laptop, plus water, plus jumpers. In these front zippers, I also carry ND lenses and filters. And in the other pocket, my wallet and my keys. So let's have a closer look at the external features on the Jack Stillman bag. As I said before, it's a roll top weather sealed, perfectly weather sealed. As long as the wax is kept up to the canvas, you're not gonna get water in there. And if you did, it would be the smallest amount. Two zips on the front with quite deep pockets. They come almost to the center of the bag on each side. You can see the bottom of the bag is double lined for extra durability. And you've also got these little leather patches where you can actually put some straps through. Maybe you wanna carry a picnic rug on the bottom rolled up. Maybe you wanna carry a tripod strapped to the bottom, which is what I do a lot. And it's an absolute win. Beautiful little logo uh, stitched in leather on the front. And as I said at the beginning, this nice strap coming down to brass fittings really sets off the style of this bag. Looking at the back, you can see there's a bit of padding along the back because the sleeve for the laptop and the iPad is in the back of the backpack, just like most other backpacks as well. Now, the shoulder straps are really durable, padded, again, waxed canvas with nice stitching on the side and brass fittings again on the end of the leads here. So this brings me around to the only negative that I have with this bag and seriously, it's not even an issue. But essentially, this bag is a big sack. 
Now the internals are stitched into the top of here very securely and dropped in. So it's a sack inside a sack. But because the internals are not secured in any other part inside the bag, it means that sometimes when you're getting a bunch of stuff in there and you're trying to pull it out, maybe like the edge of the camera lens uh, that will grab, you end up pulling the internals out and it's hard to get things out of. Now, as I said, this is such a small, insignificant reason um, as a negative. Uh, and it's certainly no deal breaker at all. But as with every review, uh, nothing is absolutely perfect. Again, I reiterate, this is my favorite bag I've ever had. I love this thing, so I'm certainly not giving it a hard time. I absolutely love it. It goes everywhere with me. If you see someone riding a motorbike with one of these on their back, it's probably me. And I do know that a couple of you guys have also purchased these uh, because of my initial video and the interview that I did with Jared Stillman. Now, if you're interested in that interview, be sure to check up here. Uh, I'll link it there and it'll be on the end screen too because of course he's such an interesting guy. And uh, I tell you what, once you've heard his story, uh, I challenge you not to buy some of his products because uh, it's a great story and they're awesome products. And uh, until the next video, throttle on, stay safe, check out Jared Stillman. See ya.